guys a lovely afternoon to you i hope you're doing well oh it's my wine glass on the screen but i'm just taking water <laughs> how are you doing i hope you are all well i'm doing great hope you have a wonderful week so far hope you got to apply some of the things we learned in our last video if you're new here welcome very much my name is Shikondungu. i'm based off the coastal part of kenya which is called mombasa and i am glad that you're here so um uh, so I said that sometimes we'll be doing sit downs, all right? So today we're doing one of those, but it's gonna be a fun one because this is something that has really been on my mind. I've been thinking about this a lot because it's something I've been struggling with. And I thought I can't be the only person going through this. There are other people obviously going through what I'm going through. So let's talk about it and yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so guys, we are talking about procrastination. Right, procrastination. What's procrastination? Right, how do we define it? Uh, and I checked in the dictionary, right? So I do have some notes here. So if I'm looking here, I'm checking my notes out. And it means it, it basically is defined as the act of delaying or postponing something. Okay, yeah, that's it. It's the act of delaying or postponing something. So have you ever found yourself postponing something or delaying something? Uh, and it's brought about by so many different results, okay? Sometimes it's because of fear of failure. Sometimes it's fear of proper, not fear, uh, it's wrong or improper time management, right? Sometimes perfectionism, laziness, overscheduling. So there's so many things that can cause that. I, I even tend to think even personalities and how I'll give you an example. So maybe you have told me, hey, can we hang out tomorrow? And I'm like, all in, yeah, 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 let's hang out, let's meet at this time. And then I realize, oh my gosh, it's almost that time and I don't feel like going out because I'm extroverted, but I, I'm also introverted in some ways. So I'll be like, no, we can't meet. Um, yeah, and we can't meet and I take pride in like staying at home, you know? So like, I, you know, I feel like I procrastinate of our meeting or like keep pushing it away because I just don't want to meet. Okay, so sometimes that happens. So there's also that. So there are different things that cause us to procrastinate, all right? Um, so I was like, okay, so what does the, because I said I'm a Christian, right? So I was asking myself, what does the Bible say about procrastination? And I looked it up and there were so many scriptures. And then something caught me that says, uh, you know, when you're procrastinating is a thing with time, right? And there's somewhere I read it said time and talents are gifts from God which are not to be wasted. And that caught my attention. Time and talents are gifts from God and they are not to be wasted. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like, oh my goodness. Wow, I never thought of it like that, right? I know time is a gift because time is a gift. That I know. But I didn't think of it in this sense, right? And I found some scripture that was actually talking about it. And in Proverbs, there are so many. But one that I found is the one that talks about tomorrow. It says, it's Proverbs 27, 1. It says, do not boast about tomorrow. You don't know what it will bring. So go ahead and do that thing today. You don't know about tomorrow. It's just that we who are in Christ, we have hope you know and we know uh, what the Bible says what Christ has spoken of our lives but tomorrow it belongs to God or even the next hour so start now don't keep pushing it right so that's talking now about what we're saying like over scheduling or like time you know improper time management it falls there this is talking about the time there's also another scripture that was talking about time um, yeah but I Yes, I found it, guys. Psalms 90 verse 12, and we know it. It says, teach us how to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. So this is a verse that you can apply to ask God to help you even with time management. And I'm not just talking to you guys. I'm actually literally preaching to myself. And I'm going to share some areas where I've been procrastinating. And I need to put it out here because when it's out here, then I'm, I'm held accountable, right? And maybe it's a journey we can walk 
together this year and actually break the spirit of procrastination because it's not what the Lord desires for us, okay? And maybe you're playing it in your family, maybe it's in your work, maybe it's in your health. Uh, for me particularly, it's in my health, right? Um, and for a minute there, I actually did it with content creation, but now I've stopped. <laughs> I am committed to this because it's something I love. I enjoy doing this. It gives me so much joy. But when it comes to my health, like I know where I'm supposed to be. I know what I'm supposed to work on. I know I'm supposed to work on. And so funny, I'll go to the store, buy everything I need, and I say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to start. And I don't start working out. For the food part, is not such an issue for me. My shoe is working out. And a friend of mine told me about like this place where I can go and work out. And I was like, okay, I'll go. And uh, But that particular week, I fell sick, right? So once I got better, which is this week, I was supposed to go by like Monday. Uh, but I didn't go, something came up. So I told myself today I have to go. And then that friend calls and said, hey, I know how much they charge, what time you can go, if you need a trainer, if you don't need a trainer and stuff. And it's literally a walking distance from my home. So I don't have an excuse as to why to not work out. I joined the Mombasa Walk Movement, if you know about it. And I was so psyched up to go. And I actually never went even a day. So I know, and because I did nutrition in school, I also know a lot about these things, what I'm supposed to work on, what I'm supposed to do, but I just don't do it. What's my problem? What's stopping me? And, you know, even as we are aging, we're supposed to focus more on our health. And this is even for the young people. Like, when you start it when you're young, it's so easy to continue it even when you're older. So, that's one area I don't want to procrastinate, guys. And we are finally going to get started. And I've said it here on YouTube, so you guys can hold me accountable, right? Yeah. And then... Laziness. Do you guys know that laziness actually causes procrastination? Because when you keep putting off something, sometimes you really don't have a, a good reason. It's just that, honestly when speaking, you're just being lazy. Mm -hmm. Lazy. So let's not be lazy because the Bible also talks about that. It says in Proverbs 10 4, lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring well. Do you want to be poor? I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be in poverty. Poverty is not nice. I don't want to struggle. I just want to live a nice, content life. And where I'm supposed to do something, I need to do it. Okay? I'm a baker, like I've said before. And sometimes I know, like, hey, get up and just bake that cake. Get up and do this. And sometimes you'll push it. <laughs> And there's no reason for that. Like, why? Why? Then you have the night and you're pushing things. And you could have gotten it done early. But you honestly do not have a reason as to why. Even as Christ Christians, when did you last read your Bible? Uh, how often do you spend time in prayer? Or just communicating with God? So what's your reason? Why? Why? I mean, you even have apps on your phone. So why are you not studying? You just read that one verse that's sent on your phone every day and that's it. How do you expect to build an intimate relationship with God or with the Holy Spirit or with Jesus? Even investing in like your family, your friends, your spouse, your kids. You're not spending enough time with them. You don't hang out with them. You don't get to have deep, intimate conversations. So how are you going to be close? Okay. How are you going to relate? How are you going to work on that relationship if you don't pour into it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm asking you, how? <laughs> There's also another scripture I like. It's 2 Thessalonians 3.10. It says, if anyone will not work, let them not eat. If you do not work, you will suffer straight. The Bible says that God has blessed the work of our hands. These hands are blessed, okay? Remember when I said that time and gifts are given by God, right? And they should not be wasted. Everyone in this world has a purpose, has a skill. There's something God has blessed you with. Even if it hasn't been developed, it can be developed, okay? So we have absolutely no reason to not have something to do, something that can help us build our lives. It's just to, sometimes you need to figure out, pray about it, uh, you know, or get that skill and work and pour towards it. A couple of days, a friend of mine challenged me about singing. I used to sing a lot. And I stopped because I moved from the praise and worship to the kids' ministry. And I thought, I can't do this. Like, why am I even doing it? I'm not going to be singing anymore. And they challenged me, like, you need to get back to it. 
and I throughout my singing journey I really questioned and compared myself a lot and we'll talk about comparison very soon I really compared myself a lot. I remember even when I was in the US, sometimes we would hold concerts and guys would come to our church and I was the worship leader in our church. And I remember we would plan and organize for everyone and everything to work out and other people to, and sometimes the whole thing would go on and I would never see them. First would pull me aside and be like, why were you backing up the whole time? Like you, you never did like, and I would have a reason, but my greatest reason was because I'd always compare myself and feel like others are better. So that's also, even comparison, by the way, is another reason for procrastinating, all right? Because you're comparing yourself with other people, so you feel like, so why? And now I've decided I'm going to work on it. I'm going to start singing again, guys. And that excites me because from as young as when I was seven, if you meet people who I grew up with, I used to sing. Uh, I remember when I was nine, I would, I would lead other kids. I would help with their voices. And so, so it's something God gifted me with. And honestly, nimerast, sana. But I'm excited to get back to it and do things that give me so much joy, right? And don't sit there saying, I don't know where to start. How am I going to do it? I don't have the energy. The Bible says in Philippians 4.13 that I can do all things through Christ who has strengthened me. We have Christ in us. So why should it be hard for us to do these things? Christ lives in us. We are capable. You are capable. Repeat after me. I I'm capable. I can do this. Okay. We are equipped with everything we need. The Bible says that we are blessed with all spiritual blessings. Everything that we need, we've already been blessed with. Like our pastor loves saying, Hakuna Ketu Binguni, God already poured everything when Christ died at the cross. So there is nothing that's left there for you to receive. It's already been given to us. So get out there and get started because Christ is in you. And regardless you can do it you can get started i remember sometime last year when i worked out for three months consistently every day for like an hour and a half and i was extremely committed even with my diet and something came up and i just gave up okay <laughs> so we are not giving up because you know christ can enable us so as much as i say i don't like working out i know it's in me i just need to stop being lazy excuse me stop procrastinating stop excuses oh my goodness how did i forget to say excuses you know just excuses giving excuses that's also another way how we procrastinate you know and just get started and do whatever you're supposed to do we are supposed to do but the greatest thing that gives me so much joy is uh in john 14 26 guys i'm looking at my notes don't wonder why i'm looking at I love when Jesus was talking about how the Holy Spirit is our helper. He says, I will send you a helper and he will teach you all these, all things. Okay. And I love that verse because it talk, it, it explains to us who the Holy Spirit is as an advocate, a comforter, a teacher, a friend, a confidant. Like the Holy Spirit is all these things. Okay. And we have him. If you're born again, you do have him in you. So you do carry all these things. So if I feel like I'm struggling in this area, the Holy Spirit is there to help me. There's another coach I saw on Instagram. My God, he cracked me up. I can't repeat his exact words because he cursed. But he was saying, no one is coming there, by the way, to help you. No one is coming to push you to start working out. No one is coming to push you to start that business idea. No one is coming to tell you take that class. No one is coming to tell you start eating healthy. No one is coming to tell you start going to church, start reading your Bible, start doing what, by the way. No one is coming to push you, okay? Yeah, no one is coming to push you. You have to get out there and get started and do it and keep doing it and allow the Holy Spirit to help you. Allow for Christ to strengthen you to do those things. Hakuna mtu anakuja. So if you're waiting, like I was waiting, procrastinating, no one is coming. And it's so funny because I saw like three different people or more than that talking about that. It's like God is so loud. <laughs> talking about that to me like hey it's time get up i love the song by mary mary he like get up <laughs> don't sit there i love that song because it's like get up now what are you doing sitting down get up get up get up another reason for procrastination is lack of discipline so when you're a disciplined person in hebrews 12 11 says no discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful later on. However, it produces um, 
fruit of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So right now, it might feel, I might feel nice when I wake up and I'm like, ah, I'm not going to go work out, I'm not going to go, no, lack of discipline. But later, I'm going to pay for it, okay? When I get to like 120 kilos or 150 or whatever, and I'm not talking badly about those people, those kilos, but I'm really short. I'm like five one. So if I weigh like that, those kilos, it's really bad for me, okay? And it's because probably I procrastinated and said, oh, I'm, I'm going to start working out, and I never did. And then it gets back to me, and you start getting all this lifestyle diseases that you could have avoided because of choices that you made because of just lack of discipline well if i choose to be disciplined today i'm gonna enjoy the fruits so why not get started and with this tomorrow i'm shooting a video showing you guys <laughs> me actually getting started so let's stop procrastinating let's get out there do that one thing you've been saying you will do stop singing that song and repeating it we're all tired of hearing it just like you're all tired of hearing me talking about weight and working out let's get out there and do that thing get out there write that business plan get out there shoot that content you need to open that youtube page open that instagram page go out there go to church go do that thing go back to school for whatever it is start that business go get it done just start don't worry about what's gonna happen just start the rest will fall in place kindly guys please let's stop procrastinating all right and that's it for today i am so glad that you're here thank you for hanging out with me let me know if you learned something and if you're like me and you're procrastinating and you know hey it's about time